And welcome back to official episode 2. Um, today, yeah, we're going to take on something a little more interesting. Um, so instead of the usual starting city grid or main street or whatever you always do, um, I thought I'd look at this land as historical kind of point of view. And considering there's a massive piece of farmland around here, um, Surely there was a family that owned it at some point and they might have moved on and the historic home stayed and the town have developed around it. So I want to start building their their home here or chateau or castle or manor. Um, so the asset I used is the Wayne Manor on Steam. I did put it in the description below. Uh, just for a bit of spice, you know, something interesting, why not? Bit of a comic book nerd after all. I mean, should go without saying, considering the game I'm playing. But yeah, there's the Way Manor. It's a really nice asset. Like the detailing is something special. Like even the monogram on the front of the castle and stuff looks great. Um, I didn't go too crazy with decoration. I basically did a an entrance, a fence on the kind of preserved piece of land. Um, and then the path for the tourists to come up and down and come and see the place if there is such thing, I don't know if it's a tourist house or not maybe maybe ancestors still occupy the place, who knows um, and then as a little nod to the Wayne Manor build itself um, I added a little eh, kind of cave entrance it's a, it's a dud road that goes nowhere but the idea is sound and for those of you following along later on the episode, newcomers won't know what that weird little road is. Yeah, so there. Um, but yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, so at this point I I kind of had my full of struggling with surf Surface Painter and lining up the little park asset. Um, I think at some point in time I'll probably go have a look at a better gate system. Uh, maybe even the one from the, the modular prison asset on Steam. That could be an option. Uh, there's options. But yeah, I, did, I am going to try and keep the mods and the assets to a minimum. I mean, it's already more than I... I like to start with considering I didn't clean out the road assets beforehand but it is what it is um, but yeah so here instead of the normal winding road that follows the contours of the mountain itself I I chose to go for something a little more aesthetic and uniform considering it would have been a, a rich family's manor home or chateau um, and they would be happy to spend the money I mean considering that this might be a family from the 1800s or even earlier yeah there definitely would have been some cash to spend but yeah let's get back into a bit of a time lapse and chat soon interesting road that's for sure um, so here I was just kind of finishing up the entrance of it 
um, keeping it fairly simple you know kind of government finance at the moment so there's some money still from the family maybe trust or something or upkeep has dropped a little or it might be intentional to kind of keep tourists out of it I guess who knows keep historical value at, at check so seeing as I went with this is a city park I can't imagine it's gonna level up very well considering I don't really want to scatter a whole bunch of campsites and all kinds of things inside of it it's it's a thing in itself um, so this one I don't I don't foresee it getting better than one or two stars at best but eh, not all parks have to be a five-star park right sometimes it's just one thing um, anyway that was the idea here so yeah let's let's have a look at this cave situation um, so earlier you might have seen me playing around with those big um, cave assets that comes with the game but you know they're just either too big or impractical or you can't really add a road into them so yeah I decided to just kind of carve out a chunk of mountain myself um, link it up as like a little side service road so no one's really gives it much of a thought they just see it as maybe an entrance to a delivery area or you know something uninteresting either way um, yeah, here I got quite lucky with the road placement because it turns out it lines up perfectly with that back road I put down in the first place. Um, so here I'm just kind of running out what would have been effectively the main road um, when the city started developing. Uh, it might not become like the main main arterial road eventually, it might just become a site service road or even lead to an additional farm area or farm industry or whatever. Yeah, this part was a little annoying. I mean mods are great but this is the hassle that comes with it sometimes you forever have to double check stuff because like in this case the road just plonked down twice um, but yeah and the zoning got all messed up and I had to kind of faff with upgrading it to to get the zoning to stick again and yeah ah, joys of modding yeah. Um, but yeah this I'm effectively just kind of establishing the road where where the back cave road essentially will come out of um, and even here I was considering maybe if I should use the the fence road again but I haven't checked how well it tunnels so maybe maybe not I don't know we'll see but yeah here you can see this this tunnel section goes absolutely nowhere I'm just trying to hide it with kind of some trees just make it look as if you know the back cave kind of idea um, and then I'm just going to weave it over through this little section, tuck it through another caved section of that mountain hill there, and then just try and hide the road with with trees as best I can. Um, I do try and like let it come in straight here, not just for a good connection, but at this point, so I can have it look like from the observer on the road that it goes somewhere else, not pointed towards the manor itself that way just creating a bit of a optical illusion which hopefully then the trees aid um, but yeah anyway let's get some music and some time-lapse action going, going again chat soon <laughs> 